Hey, what's up Street Talks, Derek Kim from the Derek Kim Street Photography Blog. So I wanna just share some spirited thoughts with you. The first basic idea is this. If you share your photos online or you have social media accounts, you're already an entrepreneur. And I was thinking to myself at the gym today, we need more entrepreneurs in the world. And specifically, if you're watching this video, we need you as an entrepreneur. So the basic idea is this. Most of modern, most of modern society is controlled by corporations, these big brands, and what essentially happens is the individual feels disempowered. The individual feels like they can't make a difference. The individual feels small. And this is where I think uh, consumerism and capitalism, uh, actually let's say more consumerism plays in, is that people want to exert their individuality and people want to exert their uniqueness and how do we do this? Of course, go to the mall and buy shit, right? Is that like, oh, you know, you're into Gucci, I'm into Louis Vuitton, I use a Leica camera, you use a Fuji camera, I drive a Beamer, you drive a Benz, whatever it may be, right? And so essentially we're using the wrong, the wrong avenues to exert our individuality. And now I think it's a good thing to be an individual and to exert your uniqueness is a good thing. Now the problem is when we get too focused on that, rather than making meaningful, rather than embarking on difficult challenges and interesting problem solving. And especially in photography, most people fall into like the social media treadmill or like even the social media, the, let's call it the social media Sisyphus complex where like Sisyphus, the ancient Greek tragedy concept where the guy is pushing the rock up, 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 up the, the hill and then it falls back down on him. And so social media is the same way too, is that we're constantly uploading photos to Instagram, Facebook, whatever, to get our likes. And we get hooked on that feeling of, you know, dopamine, serotonin, whatever. And we just keep uploading photos, try to get more likes and more followers, upload photos, more likes, follow. and it's very empty. And it's, I mean, like it's fine, ultimately it's fine, but I think the, the big issue of that is that it becomes very disempowering to the individual because you're like, wait, what is that it? Is the point of photography to just get more Instagram followers, to get more likes and, you know, maybe get sponsored by a company that, that's, that's a little bit sad. And so I think what we need as photographers and what we need in society, we need more risk takers. We need people like you to make your own YouTube channels, to create your own independent websites and blogs, use bluehost.com and wordpress.org, start your own YouTube channel, Start to give your own opinion, your own ideas, your own philosophies, your own tips, tricks, techniques, anything that could help empower other people and also for you to not censor yourself. I think too much, there's too much monoculture on the internet right now where I think that everyone participates in like hive mind, group mind, group thinking. And I, I notice this especially in photography is that everyone jumps on Everyone jumps on certain like camera brand uh, bandwagons. People don't really challenge conventional notions of like what makes a good photograph, what is success in photography, concepts of money, fame, travel, whatever it may be. And it doesn't matter what your opinion is, whether other people might consider it true, false, whatever. It's your opinion. You, your opinion cannot be wrong. And it's really essential that the world needs your opinion because without you sharing your own personal life, your own personal philosophies, the culture of photography and the culture of humanity is not gonna be driven forward. Essentially, if you feel that you have something important to say, go on and say it. Honestly, even if you feel like you don't have something important to say, you probably do have something important to say, but somehow you've been discouraged by your parents, society, teachers, whoever, not to really give your own real opinion because you're afraid of getting hated on, you're afraid of getting criticized and people you know, trolling you, whatever it may be. But friend, watching this, if you're watching this video, I really encourage you realize you're already an entrepreneur, essentially, and just take more risk, put yourself out there. There's really, you really have nothing to lose, you have everything to gain. And I could just tell you right now is, you know, I've read like hundreds and thousands of articles on entrepreneurship, business, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, 
none of it has really helped me. The only thing that's helped me is just going out and doing it, taking small risks, learning from your mistakes, and also reading philosophy has helped me, reading a lot of Stoicism, Seneca, Marcus Aurelius, uh, Epictetus, also reading uh, a lot of Nietzsche for just thinking outside the box, also think about reading like Zen and Taoist texts on design, whatever. So I think that actually the irony is if you want to succeed more as an entrepreneur or doing business, distance yourself as far away from literature that pertains to business and entrepreneurship. Rather pursue your own intellectual curiosities, which are they might seem a little bit random, but there's probably a certain way that you could cross pollinate it in an interesting, fun, outside the box way. And we need you, we need your thoughts, we need your ideas, we need you to help shift the culture, we need you to help think a little bit outside the box. And once again, it doesn't really matter if you're right or wrong, because there's ultimately no right and wrong and everything, it just comes down to your opinion. But opinions, ideas, thoughts, this is what's really important. And a lot of people say, oh, you know, I don't have a million followers, where can I start? Everyone starts with zero followers, right? Like I started this YouTube channel in like 2010 maybe, and I didn't intend to, I didn't do it because I wanted followers. I did it because I just wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to shoot a video. I'm like, where can I, how can I share a video? It's like, oh, there's that thing called YouTube. Oh, this is free. So I just upload it there. And you know, I've, I've met other YouTubers and essentially ignored almost all the advice that I heard from other people. You know, people say, oh, you know, you gotta tell people to subscribe all the time. I'm like, I don't think I've ever told people to subscribe in a video, but people just naturally subscribe. And once again, um, it's not that their advice is wrong, it's just a different opinion. And essentially what I'm trying to encourage is that just do what feels right to you and experiment, put yourself out there. And I could tell you the one way to not succeed is to just sit on your butt and do nothing. And just because you put yourself out there, just because you might say things which are controversial, just because you might state your opinion, just because you work hard, it's not gonna guarantee success, of course, but it's, it's going to increase the likelihood of you succeeding in whatever metric you uh, measure yourself. And cer certainly spending the, rest of uh, spending the rest of your life only watching YouTube, Netflix, and playing video games, I don't think that's a fun, grand, interesting way to leave a impactful legacy or to drive the human race forward. So once again, take certain risks. Um, a practical tip is if you're doing blog posts or YouTube videos, just get it like 80% good enough what you think it is and just put it out there because there is no final state of perfection as an entrepreneur, as an individual, as a photographer. You're constantly in a state of beginning. Even now, I have no idea how many videos I made on YouTube, but yeah, none of them are perfect. And I would actually even agree that, say that none of them are really that good, but it's that passion of continually learning, the passion of con uh, continually sharing ideas. And hopefully, you know, if a thousand people watch this video and even like one person gets an idea that empowers them or helps them, to me, it's worth it. Even if 99% of the people say, hey, Eric, you're such a fucking retard, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, whatever, you know? Yeah, who knows? Yeah, I'm like, this is my opinion, right? So essentially, I'm just trying to help people and I'm only giving you advice that I wish I could have given myself. But once again, what I say is not gonna necessarily apply to you. I'm just trying to help you, you know, just empower you to be more you, right? So once again, don't worry about the trolls, don't worry about the haters, don't worry about people hating on you, blah, blah, blah. Just go out, do it, make your own YouTube channel, create your own blog, website, keep sharing. And I mean, if you publish something every single day, for 10 years straight, how can you not become successful? Just think about that, peace out.